why I am back again with another video. So you guys, I am so excited to see you guys. I've not been vlogging pretty much lately. I've been ducked off, but I did want to come and make this video because when I really thought about it on my channel, I never spoke about this. Like I spoke about my medical assistant certificate and everything that it took to get that. But I feel like I kind of just breezed past the fact that I'm also a phlebotomist. Like I have the CPT certification and I just never really mentioned it on my channel because I wasn't doing it. I was practicing as an MA and my practice that I work at, they have a separate lab department, which I am now a part of. I work for the lab PRN, but I really, we all know I only work two days a week now, <laughs> but I technically work there. So I decided to make this video for you guys going into a little depth on how to become a phlebotomist and just facts about phlebotomists for anybody who's interested in that. Okay guys, so first of all, let's get the big thing out of the way because I feel like for so many people that prefer like certification programs or tech programs over than formal college, they look at like the time of programs because school isn't necessarily for everybody and some people don't wanna be in school for a long periodically time. So <laughs> anywho, typically phlebotomy programs, short ones can be anywhere from four to eight weeks. Now for me personally, technically my phlebotomy program, it went on for way longer than four to eight weeks, four to eight weeks. And that is because I got my medical assistant license at the same time. So the medical assistant program that I did, they offered the phlebotomy certification combined in it. And you guys know I was in medical assistant school for basically a whole year. So one of the books that I got in my medical assistant program was this one and it's a phlebotomy book so everyone had this book because regardless MAs had to learn a little bit about phlebotomy so this is the book that I learned phlebotomy from but you have the choice in the program whether you wanted to get the phlebotomy certificate or if you just want it to be an MA so that's one thing I would suggest for you guys maybe try and find programs like that even if medical assistant wasn't your original attention why not get two certifications if you can have one then you can be like me and maybe you need to stop doing the other one because of school like me then you have the other certificate to fall back on or if you're not liking one so much then you can do the other okay so the phlebotomy program that i did much like others one of the main like ways to get your certification other than taking the test is most programs require that you have a certain amount of sticks before you can even take the test so for me, I believe my program, we have to have like 50 sticks. And that's only because we were MAs. I think if you do just straight phlebotomy, you have to have a like a higher number of sticks. And that's basically just practicing on people. And most programs, they provide your classmates <laughs> to practice on. So, okay, you guys, a side note, let me tell y'all the story. So when I was getting my phlebotomy certificate, I only got stuck like one time. Other than that, I got all 50 of my sticks. I was drawing my classmates left and right, but I only got stuck one time because I would always make up excuses or have on long sleeve shirts or be like, oh, I already got stuck today. My arms have already been used, but really I was not getting stuck like that because I don't really like needles. Like no, to me, nobody likes to get their blood drawn, but in phlebotomy programs, it's kind of a give and take because you're there to become a phlebotomist and your classmate is there to become a phlebotomist as well. So you guys both have that mutual goal at the end. So you kind of have no choice but to practice on your classmates. If I can find a picture, I will insert it because before we were allowed to even try sticking our classmates, we had to practice on mannequins. So I'll try and insert a picture of me practicing on a mannequin basically. And then, so after you find a program, phlebotomy programs, like I said, four to six weeks if you just do phlebotomy, unless you do one that's attached to an MA program, then you have to get your certain amount of sticks. And yes, you still have to do the classwork and take the quizzes. And that just includes stuff like learning your order of draw, um, appropriate places to stick on the arm, because there are technically some places that you shouldn't aim for unless you're desperate and don't have anywhere to get them. And then not only does it just teach you the regular vein you puncture in the arm, it teaches you how to draw from hands, how to do finger pricks, or what do they call those? Capillary sticks are what they're officially called. So you learn the capillary sticks, vein you punctures, um, drawing from hands, and you also learn a lot kind of about like infants um, because babies have to get certain tests when they're newborn. So you learn how to like stick the foot of babies. At least we did in my program. If I can find a picture of that, I will insert it. Um, some other cool things that you learn in 
a phlebotomy program is well i guess i don't know if this technically like a cool thing but you kind of learn techniques from drawing from harder sticks or maybe like obese people because sometimes unfortunately when people have a high body body mass index it's harder to find their veins because there's so much fat and whatnot covering them up so they teach you how to draw from hard drawers take your test there's several companies that certify you but yeah i was going to show you guys my phlebotomy certificate hold on yeah i got all my stuff in a in a binder okay so here it is i'm just kind of covering up some per personal information it's a nha certificate so national Healthcare association they hand out a lot of certificates i know people that have phle um, phlebotomy licenses through them um also pharmacy technicians i know some pharmacy technicians that have this so basically this was instated august 28th of 2020 and it expires august 28th of 2022 so basically my certification is dang I think I'm gonna have to renew it. <laughs> no, it's a while away, but I'm, that just made me think I gotta renew this soon. So basically your certificate should be good for two or three years. And then I do think you have to pay a little fee to keep up with it, which I plan on doing. I need to renew my medical assistant one. That one's already due and I'm kind of past due on that, but you know, that's, that's not the T. So anyway, this video was just kind of to tell you guys about my experience and give you like a little idea of how to become a phlebotomist or what type of things you will be doing in phlebotomy school. If you guys want a more detailed video or have questions in particular, go ahead and comment those down below and I'll be sure to try and address them. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe so you can be a part of the Mighty Mob and I'll catch you guys in my next video.